Little people, big world, fans swoon over. The way Zach looks at, wife Tori Roloff in new video. The TLC stars have been married since 2015 and share three children. Little people, big world stars Zach and Tori Roloff have been married since 2015 and share three children. But fans noticed the TLC couple seemed just as in love as the day they said, I do, in a new video. On Sunday, August 18th, Tori took to Instagram with a playful clip featuring herself, Zach and their kids, Jackson, Seven, Lila, Four, and Josiah, Two. When the bedtime sillies hit, she captioned the update. In the video, the family of five sat on or stood near a couch with serious looks on their faces as Sweet But Psycho by Ava Max played. The beat dropped, and suddenly the roll-offs started energetically grooving, but in slow motion, while shining flashlights at themselves. Many fans in the comments noticed Zach stealing a loving glance at his wife. One Instagram user wrote, I love the way your husband looks at you. He adores you. Another follower commented, It's the look Zach is watching you that got me love this. While someone else echoed, The way Zach looks at you. Yet another Instagram user pointed out, At Toraloff it looked like Zach was absolutely adoring you. Josiah, on the other hand, he totally was judging. Meanwhile, Zach chimed in to ask his wife, At Toraloff, is your flashlight even on? It wasn't. To which she replied, At Zroloff 07 there was a lot of pressure okay. The mom of three later added, At Zroloff 07 also can we just see us and our kids, Jackson Lila and I in a full send. You and Josiah like, what are these fools doing? Little people, big world. Star Zach Roloff torches Peter Dinklage and Disney's Snow White. Zach Roloff, one of the stars of Little People, Big World, torched the Walt Disney Company and Peter Dinklage following the release of the film's latest trailer. AS first reported by Cosmic Book News, Roloff expressed his thoughts via some Instagram story posts. Ex user Reality for Life shared the pair of posts where Roloff wrote, If you've been following our podcast, I've had thoughts on this. They updated slash diversified Snow White, but went way backward on the dwarf side. Hope Dinklage is happy. In the second post, he wrote, So they aren't just taking away the dwarves and making Snow White. They are CGING the dwarves. This is a 1937, there are actually a lot of people with dwarfism walking around. Either focus on Snow White or own the dwarf representation. Back in the beginning of 2022, Dinklage appeared on the WTF with Mark Marin podcast, where he criticized the Walt Disney Company for their upcoming live action Snow White film. Dinklage said at the time, well, you know, it's really progressive to cast a Literally no offense to anyone, but I was a little taken aback by, they're very proud to cast a Latina actress as Snow White. But you're still telling the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs so. Take a step back and look at what you're doing there, he continued. It makes no sense to me, because you're progressive in one way, but you're still making that F asterisk 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 G backward story of the seven dwarfs living in a cave. What the F asterisk 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 are you doing, man? Have I done nothing to advance the cause from my soapbox? I guess I'm not loud enough, he said. He then concluded, I, I don't know what studio that is. But they were so proud of that and all love and respect to the actress and to the people who thought they were doing the right thing. But I'm just like, what are you doing? Later in the podcast, he added, if you tell the story of Snow White and it's most F asterisk 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 add up cool, progressive spin on it, let's do it. All in, but I just don't know. In response to Dinklage's comments, a spokesman for Walt Disney Company told The Hollywood Reporter, to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we are taking a different approach with these seven characters and have been consulting with members of the dwarfism community. We look forward to sharing more as the film heads into production after a lengthy development period, 
the spokesman added. The Hollywood Reporter also asserted, the film has been in development for three years. The studio has been reimagining the dwarf characters since the earliest stages. Roloff is not the only person to torch Dinklage for his comments that seemingly caused this change to Snow White. Tara Joel, known for the Little Women series of reality television shows, questioned Disney's claim that they reached to members of the dwarfism community. She said, I reached out to the largest little person community, which is called Little People of America. Did they hear from Disney? No. So, who's this little person community you're reaching out to? Is it by the name of PD, Peter Dinklage? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.